Hey everybody. In this video we'll be looking at a pulled Logasys power supply. This is the Logasys PS350MA power supply, MicroATX power supply. This um, power supply came out of that real small bare bones part system I got earlier. And um Let's go ahead and look at the spec label here on this power supply. Claims to be 350 watts. Let's look at the um, outputs. Pause the view specs. Anyways, this is the power supply you'll find on Newegg for $17.99 as of early 2014. And something right away I want to show you guys I thought was pretty funny was the fact they forgot to put in the, you know, the fact this is a um, 110 slash 220 volt supply and they say it's got a built in EMI filter. Well, what the, what to see about that? It's got four, it's got, let's see, four, um, four out of five review. So, let's go ahead and do what the label tells us not to do. Let's get a screwdriver. And let's dig inside this thing. Because what's a power supply review without looking inside the thing, you know? Really what I'm doing in this video is I'm just going to have a look inside to see if this thing is worth doing anything with. Which I guess you can look at the connectors while I'm taking the screws out. There is a 20 plus 4 pin connector. A four pin eight yeah, yeah four pin CPU connector. There are four uh, Molex connectors, one floppy connector, and one SATA connector. <laughs> the Diablo Tech PSDA 320M supply that's in the TV box has, I believe, three or four Molex. A combination of a 4 pin and an 8 pin CPU power connector, a 20 plus 4 pin ma main connector, and two SATA connectors and a floppy connector. And the Diablo Tech seems to have more honest ratings on its um, label, which of course the Diablo Tech is not even the best either, unless you upgrade it like I did. So anyways, let's take this cover off, see if there's any more screws that need to be de dealt with. Oh, let's go ahead and cut the warranty sticker. <clears throat> this power supply is from 2008. There. <clears throat> and the... Um, the QC pass sticker, the ATE OK sticker. Because I mean, who needs that anymore? Let's go ahead and look inside. If they can get the cover off. Alrighty. Let's go and have us a look. Well, we've got quite a few things to go over in this thing. First off, let's, let's go ahead and guess we'll start from the primary side. This thing is built similar to the Diablo Tech. Of course, this one lacks the um, main choke. Prince call it, you call this the long filter in, in these power supplies. It's a um, passive filter coil that um, actually has two coils, one for live, one for neutral of your AC. This is between you know your inputs and your rectifier bridge. Now this power supply has two Y capacitors. Yeah, you remember how it just said built in the EMI filter? Yeah, that's for EMI filter. Those two Y caps. That is incomplete. Not a very good um, EMI filter there. Of course, we have the Ford diode treatment for uh, rectification. 
where we could have a bridge rectifier. There's also a place where um, a um, X capacitor could have gotten installed. And look at these capacitors. Move a wire. They say 470 microfarad, but to be honest with you, that is incorrect. Those are not 470s. Those are entirely too small to be 470s. I mean, if they were 470s and that skinny, they'd be a bit taller than that. Usually 470 microfarad caps are a bit thicker than that, so those are probably 330 microfarad caps. That's pretty typical for, that size is pretty typical for a um, 330. Here's our main heat sink. There's our um, power connector right there. There's actual room to install a um, an X capacitor there, but there's not one installed. Now let's go ahead and get the flashlight and start looking at the silicon in this thing. Try to see what we have for our main switchers. It's kind of hard to tell because they're under such an angle. Those are CJ one zero eight one three zero zero um nines I think they're not too awful bad that's equal, that's pretty much enough for three hundred watts let's see what we ha have for five volt standby yeah this is two transistor Samwin SW two N sixty is probably a um internal MOSFET I would assume I'm not looking up data sheets right now. There's our main transformer. It says it's a size 33. Oh yeah, this is not, not to mention this is actually a half bridge supply. You see that dip capacitor back there? That is actually perpendicular to this heat sink. That usually signifies that this is a half bridge design power supply. The center there, I believe, is our 5 volt standby transformer. And over here is isolation transformer now for the not the main transformer but the other two transformers those are really decently sized those are pretty big but of course the main transformer is a bit small but of course it's, you don't usually get transformers really big and micro tech supplies like these because they're so there's you end up cram so much stuff in these things so anyways capacitors um, are BH and another brand over here none are bulging but my history with BH capacitors they just dry out they don't bulge or anything they just dry out anyways um, for some reason or they got this secondary heat sink bent over a little ways let's see if I can do anything with it no it's it's stuck there so let's see if I can figure out what's on the secondary side here in terms of silicon Our 3.3 volt rail has an S3045C component that is um, a diode diode pack. Not sure if it's shock or fast recovery. Not looking up data sheets at the moment. In the center we have let's see our oh, plus 12. Let's see if we can figure out what that is. Now, this thing claimed to put out 12 amps on a 12 volt rail. So I'm, I am curious to know what that device is rated for. Sixteen. I think sixteen amps from what I'm seeing from the model. It appears to be STPR sixteen. So not too bad. Now I can't see what the five volt component is rated for. Now looking at that, um, I'm looking to main coil, and just look how small it is compared to the 3.3 volt one. They're about the same size. Now I can't remember exactly how big the coil is in in the um, Diablo Tech power supply. Again, it's in service right now, so I can't just look at it. This thing is, I mean, it is actually designed close similar to Diablo Tech in terms of layout, but they're not the same. There's our main, see that I see there I believe is 
um, both PWM and supervisory. And maybe, yeah. And of course, supervisory means your, your protections, which in these power supplies usually consists of only over, over voltage and under voltage, no overload protection. But they usually do have short circuit protection, but not over overloading protection. Over here is our fan. It's a Yate Loon. It's actually one of the um, reputable brands. They've actually been around for quite a while. But yeah, um, I want to show you something else here before I wrap up this video. You have to look straight down to see it. Notice how discolored that PCB is near near um, near the coil. It seems like it's near the coil. Maybe the diodes. I can't tell for sure. So when you, when I see something like this, it quite it makes me question whether I want to try to beef this up a little bit and use it when I see this, because that PCB is awful dark right under that um right under the main coil there. That tells me there's a hot spot there. So it's questionable what I want to really use this power supply for anything. I may just part it out. But anyways, you got to, you, you guys got to see it in this video. What I'll probably do is I'll take out those capacitors and have a closer look, look sometime later on. Anyways, that was an overview of this power supply. A Logasys MicroATX power supply. Hand the question for comments. Feel free to ask and thanks for watching.